I wanted to see how much of my YouTube channel I could truly automate with AI. Everything from creating viral special effects for hooks like this. Using the latest Nano Banana Pro model to automatically editing my videos with AI. If you're new here, I'm AI Samson, and on this channel we explore the creative possibilities of AI. Now we're going to go through the entire content creation process from start to finish, and I'm going to show you some of the latest tools at every step of the process. First up, let's make some viral hooks, and these are great ways to engage your audience visually at the start of your video. And you can get high level special effects in seconds. What you can do is make sure you have an image of the frame of you in shot. So I will simply take a screenshot of my live recording right here. Make sure I'm looking into the camera. Then I'll come into Nano Banana 2 inside of Gemini and I'll go ahead and upload an image. Then I add the prompt, make me into a super powered space soldier with sci-fi armor. Of course, you can use anything that you like. Key thing here is we want to make sure we keep the background exactly the same. That's what gives us this beautiful transition. So if it doesn't do that, you can just simply coerce it into doing so. Now, of course, you can play around with this until you're happy. I quite like this one, but I'd like a little bit of my face coming through the visor. Then what we can do is come to Google VO3. I like to use it inside of Flow, which is a tool that allows you to control the frames inside of Google VO3. So what you want to do is make sure that you go to frames to video and then upload your image that we've just generated as the very first frame. From here, we can put in a prompt. Man says in husky British voice, viral hooks like this and fires a blaster. I'll go ahead and enter that in. Now, whilst that's loading, I'll show you the next part of the process. And that's to make a transition shot for me looking like this, transforming into my soldier attire. So to do that, what we have to do is start off with the original screenshot that we had. Now, this also helps if it is the last frame of the intro clip that you are using. So you want to have the clip and then you want to use the very last frame of that. That way we get a very smooth transition into our transformation. Now, the next part is we then use an end frame, which is going to be our soldier. So I can simply say, man transforms into soldier as armor grows on him. And go ahead and send that off to generate. Now, what we can do is download both of these clips, hop into Adobe Premiere or any other editing software. And what we need to do is take our first clip, we then want to play the transitional clip and then finally add the viral hook. Now, an important caveat here is that we can make this look much more smooth by speeding up the transition shot that we have of me changing into the soldier. And to do this, you can simply increase the speed at which this clip plays. So I'm gonna play it at about 600%. Now you also notice here that we had a little bit of an unfortunate element inside of our clip. And that's because there is this cut between the clip. We've got a beautiful transformation, but then it cuts to me grabbing the gun. It's not a smooth transition. So if that happens, you can simply reprompt your video and get it out again. I like to show you the mistakes here in case this happens to you and you know exactly how to get around them. Now, of course, if you'd like to follow along with this entire process, I'm going to leave a link to all the prompts I'm using in this video in the description below so you can make your own viral transition. So I'll go back and reprompt this inside of VO3 to make sure we get a smooth transition. Then we put the whole thing together and it turns out like this. Viral special effects for hooks like this. using the latest Nano Banana Pro model. Now, of course, we can try it for a few different situations. Here's me turning into a wizard. And here's me turning into a woman. Now to recap the process for making these viral hooks. Firstly, you must have a clip, a video of you that starts the intro. Then you take the final frame of that and you put it into Google Nano Banana. From there, you ask it to transform you into whatever entity that you would like to become. Subsequently, what you need to then do is take this new image, put it into Google 3.1, make sure you're using it as the first frame, and then ask for it to say whatever you'd like your character to say. Next up, we need to take our last frame and our new updated version of ourselves and use this as first and last frame for a video generation. That then gets us a lovely transition to go from our original clip to our AI video generated clip. Now, this is just 
viral hooks. There is truly so much more that we can do when we are creating our videos with AI techniques. And for that, I'm going to be using Descript, which is an AI video editing platform that has a whole host of AI features. Now I reached out to Descript and asked if they would like to be the sponsor of today's video, and they kindly agreed. Now, I'll be taking a completely raw, unedited piece of footage and applying some massively quick tools and effects on this that hugely speed up the process. Let's take a look at what I have to start off with. I have this raw footage where I'm looking away from the camera. It's got poor audio quality and a whole host of uh, other problems. So I've uploaded this straight into Descript, and what it's done is it's immediately given us a whole entire transcript. And what's cool about this is you can just go through and find things you don't want to say, highlight them, and delete them, and they're removed entirely from the video. Now, if you want to switch things around, you can even copy them and paste them in earlier in the video. So that way you can edit, move things around simply by copying and pasting your text. But what I truly love is the ability to add special effects. Specifically, I love to add a studio sound to my video. Let's just listen to how this works. So here it is before. AI is changing the world at a pace that we have never seen before. And yes, it's automating tasks and changing the value of different skill sets. And here it is after. AI is changing the world at a pace that we have never seen before. And yes, it's automating tasks and changing the value of different skill sets. As you can see, it is a huge increase in audio quality. But that's not all. We also have the opportunity to automatically edit out all filler words, long gaps, ums, ahs, and redundant pieces of text. So let's give that a go. If you accidentally introduce a, a lot of ahs, ums, and awkward pauses into your script. So I will overdo this to show you exactly how well it can handle something. Here it is. Uh, um, well, so the most important factor of using AI editing is, um, uh, as you can see, that's awfully painful, but now we can switch it up and remove all of those elements to get something like this. So the most important factor of using AI editing is... But it also has this very useful tool, which I find particularly interesting, and it allows you to remove anything that detracts from the interest of the video. So here it selects parts of the script that are digressions or superlative to the main thesis of the video. And this is great for helping you condense down your video, not just by giving you places where you've made mistakes, but actually showing you where you start to make creative decisions based on the integrity of the script. For example, it's told me to remove this sentence. And yes, it's automating tasks and changing. And you can certainly say that this isn't necessary for the main focus of the piece. But what's also great is eye contact. And what we can do here is we can simply apply it so that it makes sure that we are consistently looking at the camera. So it adds an AI effect to make sure that our eyes are focused on the lens of the camera. Now, this is what it looks like. So this is an example of where I am reading off screen. I'm not looking directly at the camera, and yet it's possible for our Descript AI assistant to entirely redirect the gaze of our eyes. Another highly effective feature that we can use is the ability to automatically use a green screen here. So this is AI green screen. And if we select this, it means that we can change the background to whatever we like. And this allows us to suddenly put things behind us that we couldn't do before. Now to do that, what we have to do is come into AI tools on the right hand side. And then from here, you can scroll down to green screen. Now we can even create an image with AI inside of Descript to put in behind us. Now once we've got our automatic green screen, we can simply change the color a little bit of our scene, and you can see here. But of course the fun thing to do is put things behind us. And then we can put this AI generated image directly behind me and have it as a green screen, as I've done right here. It's changing the world at a pace that we have never seen before. And yes, it's automating tasks and changing the value of different skill sets. Now there are a whole host of other fun things you can do inside of Descript. There are a number of pre-built animations that you can simply drag and drop in, which are great for speeding up your editing. So you can see here, we've got this little arrow nicely animated in, and you have also the ability to move yourself around. Now that we're a green screen, we can appear anywhere. And this gives us a whole lot more fluidity with our editing process. Now what I love is the automatic AI captions which you can add. There are a whole host of different styles here. I quite like this one, which is more in keeping with my brand. Now I can even move these around and I can get this lovely 
animated text effect. Now you can see this works really well because we've immediately got captions and they're entirely animated to make sure that the exact word I'm saying is being highlighted at the same time. AI is changing the world at a pace that we have never seen before. Now beyond this, there is an AI assistant built right into Descript that you can talk to and ask it to perform changes directly in Descript. So you might ask it to add some B-roll to this section. Now it will go ahead and think about this and actually go ahead and source the B-roll and put it directly into the video for you. Now, to be completely clear with you, there are some limitations to what this can achieve and it's certainly a feature that is expanding. But the key thing here is this is the future of video editing. We're going to be able to chat in a window and ask for every single specific edit that we want in natural language and have that integrated directly into our video. So my suggestions for getting the most out of this to work is make sure you ask for one simple single change at a time and it's able to handle that. But I do want to show you another feature which I think is incredibly important for creating content in the future and that's being able to use our own clones effectively. And Descript allows us to make our own voice clone. So you can come to AI speakers and then you can go to new speaker, create confirm, and then you have to go through and read out a script to create your own clone. Now it's best to do this with a high quality mic if you have access to it, but using a mobile phone close to your face works very well too. Now we can come into create a new project and go to create with avatar. From here we'll have our new speaker. Now we can actually upload your own image, pop my little face in here, then you go to create and then go to assign avatar. Go ahead and write a little bit of script and it will go ahead and generate an AI voice for this text. It's so amusing to me that all of the AI voice clones I do end up giving me this slight Aussie twang, a bit of an Aussie twang. And I am in fact British, but obviously there's something that's gone a little bit awry with my accent over the years. But it does sound very much like me and the audio quality is very high. Finally, we can go to export, make sure you generate your avatar. Now it takes a little while to do this, Hi, this is AI Samson, your new AI guide. Let me tell you about the pricing of Descript because what I appreciate about it is that you can try it out entirely for free. You get one hour per month of AI video editing so you can test out all of these AI tools. Now, Descript truly has a whole wonderful showcase of different AI tools. And if you are ready to upgrade, their hobbyist plan gives you 10 hours per month of AI video editing for only $16 per month. Next up is the creator plan, which is $24 per month. Per month and it gives you 30 hours per month. More than 6 million creators are using Descript and they're constantly adding new features to the tool. We've gone through how we can create viral hooks transforming ourselves into mysterious beings as well as looking at how we can use Descript to edit with text and automatically remove filler words, gaps, pauses, and poor takes. It also gives us insights into parts of our script where we might digress from the main thread of our narrative, as well as allowing us to look directly at the camera with AI eye contact and use AI for removing green screens, adding captions, animations, and much more. Descript has a whole library of AI tools and it's certainly something that helps us as creators harness the power of AI. Check out Descript in the link in the description below, as well as all of the prompts that I used in this video to create the viral transitions. Now, most of all, if you enjoyed this video, then why not watch this one next, where I showcase some remarkable ways that we can create advanced motion graphics using AI video. This allows us to take our motion graphics designers to new heights. But most of all, I want to say thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. And I wish you a delightful day.